All right, everyone, what's going on for another Vlogs with Boyle on Friday? Now, today we're gonna we're gonna be try we're gonna try to be as as positive as physically possible. There's a few things that I do want to talk about before we jump into the blog, though. Um, the first thing is actually I'm a little bit surprised, although not quite surprised, uh, that the um, the quick rumble that we have starting later on today, the super successors, it is live now actually, and they're rewarding spiced spider jeans. So, in the event that you want to claim these for no reason whatsoever, this this basically shows that they copy and paste. You know their events that they have no idea what they're doing and um they will repeat currency that doesn't exist anymore because the event's gone so that's there that's fun right and uh that's in the game now as far as the armory orb fiasco i want to touch on this very quickly this specially offensive offer <laughs> i heard that on the valley news show and honestly it made a lot of sense so let's zoom in a little bit we know what happened right you guys watched my video and it was there and anyone else who had a video on it okay so this has come back it is on the web store only so if you wanted to buy it through amazon coins or if you wanted to buy it through in just in game right that's not happening so it is on november that's today it, it, it's there i'll show you in a second a web store only at the same price for 48 hours so this will be available until sunday the offer can only be purchased once, and any player that purchased already will not see it again. Maintaining the equity and competitive integrity. There's no competitive integrity in this game. Let's be very fucking clear about that. Because the the Black Panther, Red Star Orb issue, and and, and Spider-Man 2099, and, and, and every other character before that, there is no competitive... Don't, don't, don't let them fool you. There is no competitive integrity in Marvel Strike Force. There never has been, there never will be. Okay? You're basically... You're giving into FOMO... To the highest degree whether it was from zombie iron man or whether it's this armory orb offer here and i want to say flat out i'm not buying this offer i don't really need it and uh if there comes a time where i feel like i can't play because i didn't buy this offer um you know for example some people were, 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 were you know saying what happens if the our future character releases were two or three times the amount of mini costs if that ever happens, I'll quit. I'll walk from Marvel Strike Force. I'm not even joking. If there is a reason that free-to-play players cannot play in the same way because they did not buy this offer, then this game is absolutely fucked, and it's already kind of circling the drain. Players are leaving en masse. There's been a lot of issues this week alone. Pants of Hulk players leaving, which are huge spenders. Um, the the Red Star issues. Uh, Mr. Negative still not appearing uh, anywhere and uh this so there's just so many issues that i can't justify giving them money and i'm not going to drink their kool-aid i'm not going to be congratulating them for a fuck up and that's basically how things are i know a lot of people and a lot of people watching this video and a lot of people who watch my channel will buy this offer but i won't you know you make your own decisions but frankly they don't deserve money stay tuned to the next blog post this is the, this is the disgusting part where we'll give details on a special player appreciation event called the Strike Salute, taking place November 14th at 1 p.m. Where's this? Subject to change, right? 1 p.m.? Why not 2 p.m.? What happened to that? Okay, so that's going to be on Monday. Uh, not next Monday, the following Monday. So you fucking know that this is just going to be another excuse, another event for them to want your money they're gonna have offers relating to milestones that you can pay them to complete it's not a fucking player appreciation event it's a player open your fucking wallet event that's what this is gonna be they're just disguising it as that do not be fooled by scopely and boundless they just want your money that's it and people are congratulating for that and then giving and they're just shelling out money for them just saying it like it is. Now, if you do want the offer, though, which I'm not buying, of course, uh, it is in the web store. And this is actually the msf.gg variant of the web store. And I, I do want to mention that at least the website runs pretty well. So there it is. Special, the specially offensive starter pack. <laughs> so you can see the 40 million uh, Armory 14 and 15 fragments with 6,000 raid credits and, and all that stuff. 
for 28 Canadian or I believe it's 20 US dollars. So that's there if you do want to buy it. Uh, I do want to say though, more broadly, the msf.gg website, the update is quite good. It, things are very speedy. And so for all those people who are complaining about the slowness of the regular website, uh, you can just click on here and I, there is none, I guess, no solo milestones really, but or I, I have to sign in and out, I think, to fix my thing. But regardless, it loads up a lot quicker. I am on desktop, but I believe on, on mobile this is quite quick as well. Uh, so you can see all their trashy, trashy fucking offers over here. But at least it loads quicker. And then also, there is a free claim Friday gift. So I'm going to claim uh, my energy really quick. You get one free gold orb. Congratulations, players. Here you go. And then if you buy that, or maybe it doesn't appear. I, apparently, there's supposed to be a secondary offer. I didn't get that. Maybe that's because you're claiming it on uh, msf.gg over their other website. I don't know. Anyways, we have the main uh, blog post now, of course. It's called Cat Attack with Black Panther on the cover. So we have a, a, a month-long event, but, like, we're already on November the 4th. So, like, is this a three-week event or, like, what the hell is going on? Anyways, we'll find out. So four main milestone events, four quick crumbles, or it's going to dip into December, I guess, and that's what's really going to happen. And two alliance milestones. We know that's coordinated assault. <laughs> I don't even, I don't have to even look at it to know. So same as usual. I don't think there's anything else in there. Daily web milestone, because make sure you link your Scopely account. Event schedule. Okay, so it is kind of dipping into December. Because this is probably going to be, it looks like they're every week, so this is going to be dipping into the first week of December. Contagion Corpse, November 7th. I believe that was in the data mine somewhere. So that's going to be on Monday. And then Commander's Cat, I don't, we don't know about these other ones yet. I believe this was in the data mines. I just forget exactly what it was. I thought there was war battles in there, but it'll probably say down below. Quick Rumbles, Uncanny X-Men, Wakandans, Guardians, and Astonishing X-Men. That was also in the data mines. And the fact that this one is... Uh, December the 2nd, which these are normally run on Fridays. Uh, that does suggest then that uh, this will be running probably until like December 5th or so, at least for this month-long event. Then Coordinated Assault, of course. I knew that was coming back. Points. Let's talk about this. Let's open it up in another tab just to see if there's anything unusual. Okay, so it cuts off at the bottom here, but there's uh, four items. Uh, same usual prices. Uh, points, rather. 35k, 45k, 60k, and 100k. So that's not surprising. And all of this looks pretty similar. However, uh, we are moving. So we're, we're keeping the 500k scale, but we're going back to or, uh, we're going back to shards. So there's 40 shards. Okay, let's go up to the top. Actually, the shards start down here at 86k. I think milestone 21. Unless I missed something. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 65, 80. 100 so you need about 189k to unlock them that's actually not bad and i believe that is in fact earlier than the old scale of the 50k because i believe it was 28 and a half k out of 50k to unlock them in that scale now it seems 189 out of 500k so that seems a little bit easier probably because and we might have space to talk about that later but the nakia event which does require all five of the war dog characters so people were questioning whether or not you'd be able to unlock black panther before that event so i'm guessing this is probably why that you will at least have them at three star uh and actually we should have zoomed in a little bit and then of course there's going to be uh what, what did i say 189k so then there's going to be more shards, 20, 20, and 40. So there's going to be 180 in total. So you will get a four-star Black Panther. And honestly, good fucking riddance from the orbs. Because, you know, I, congratulations to the people who got, like, above-average pulls, including myself for Spider-Man 2099. But I think that it was just a garbage system, and I'm kind of glad that they've listened <laughs> for once, right? Back to the solid permanent shards where that if you did the event, you would get a four-star free-to-play. And so I'm happy with that for once. And that's the, that's something good. So let, let's just scroll past uh, leaderboard. We know all this. I'm not going to, you know, that's normal. Contagion Corps starting on November the 7th on Monday. First event. It's uh, preparing for Pe Morgan Le Fay's fourth run. Because I'm pretty sure that's what we're on now. Plague Monger Orbs from Select Campaign Nodes. Uh, probably means Fragments from Select Campaign Nodes. And the Viral Vision Web Milestone. And then open them to earn stuff. So it's going to be an orb opening seven day milestone opening orb opening milestone okay so let's open this one up let's close that one down 
Okay, so let's go to the bottom. So again, cut off by my frame. Sorry, guys. Uh, so it is one point per fragment. Okay. Uh, sorry, I got excited there. One point per fragment, so 2,000 per orb, that kind of thing. And it maxes at 120,000. Again, I'll do the math for Sunday. So I'll put out that video for Sunday morning uh, so that you guys have a heads up exactly as like, you know, what you need to do. Where's the whale stones, that kind of thing. What are we looking at? Uh, we do, It looks like over here, so 51,000 is the milestone here for the Vibranium Meteorite 5600 and the Panther Pelt. That's 35k points, so that's the goal. And I'm assuming that everything after this, or you know, it's usually the last three or four milestones that are the whale stones. And you can see that there's 50 fucking Agatha shards here, like in the second to last one. I, I can guarantee you that that's, that's most likely a whale stone. So uh, more news to come on Sunday for that, though. And let's scroll down. Viral Visions web milestone. So Blitz. To <laughs> more blitz we haven't had blitz in a little while so this is the the comeback of blitz right uh rewards include plague monger orb fragments so you are gonna earn oh you're earning blitz credits it's not even blitzing with characters it's blitz credits so save any uh, i don't know if you can by monday you'll have to save your orb your sunday or blitz credits save those because you should still be able to claim that on monday and i don't think you can do that from friday from this quick rumble one and then save that all the way to monday i think it'll disappear by then uh so i, I wouldn't risk that necessarily but yeah earning blitz credits i don't like that and it's 1.01 so the, it, with 30 up to thirty six thousand. now it is seven days so at least we know that you're gonna have to crunch those numbers, boys, and, uh, and and everyone else, because this is not looking super fun. But we'll see. We'll see exactly where we need to get to, how many orb fragments that we get in total in here, and, and if we actually need that many for the orb opening milestone itself. Uh, and of course, coordinated assault. This is coming back next oh next Friday, actually this time next week. Uh, November. Why are they saying 1 p.m.? Why is everything saying 1 p.m.? Does it say up here? 1 p.m. Why is everything 1 p.m.? What's going on, guys? Are they pushing it back again? From 2 to 1 now? I don't know. Is it a typo that happened on every single number? And then we have the Quick Rumble Uncanny next Friday. And this will be rewarding Vibranium Meteorites for the new event. And also, of course, you can get bonus points at 3-star. Uh, so, you know, that's new from last month as well. So you can get additional points from 3-star, not just 5-star. So that helps. Uh, Morgan Le Fay's fourth run, November 7th at 1 p.m. Everything's at 1 p.m. Subject to change, maybe. Does it matter? Not really. But I don't know why they're doing this. Anyways, uh, so you know the drill. I'm not going to repeat this too much. Uh, Morgan Le Fay's fourth pass. So more shards for Morgan Le Fay. Or an unlock for some people. Strike pass and RTA. Uh, we have, uh, we failed to mention our previous blog. Uh, what? Oh, they're updating the, 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 the paid, the paid, the super premium pass or just the premium pass. What's the premium? Pa Is that just the paid? Sorry. I don't, I don't do this stuff much. Oh, it's not there. Okay. <laughs> is this just the regular paid one so you get 50 50 free levels if you want to pay for it to try and convince people that they should be spending on this don't bother namor star unlock update namor from three star to two star is that even a big deal character availability we like that we like this right whenever this happens 2099 in the orbs misty knight will be leaving the mega orb when is shatter star or Kitty Pride, or no, sorry, Sh Shatterstar left. When is Kitty Pride leaving the Mega Orb? Because she's like the one that I always seem to pull, and I'm like, why the fuck is she still in here? Free Claim Friday, I mentioned this already. Uh, oh, this is an another new one, sorry, for next. Oh, no. Okay, well, this was the, the Gold Orb that I mentioned. I thought there was maybe going to be another one because it showed the War Dogs, but nope, I think that's just the Gold Orb. Juggernaut Blitz on Monday. Ebony Maw coming back. And that's it. That sounds pretty dire. Where's the Flash events? Don't we normally get Flash events? Shouldn't it be Payday? No, we just had Payday. Chaos Theory? I don't know. Uh, we normally have one at the start of each at the start of the month. I think that's Chaos Theory, actually. Uh, so where is that? Not in the weekly events. 
We'll find out more, of course. This is Strike Force. You never know what's going to happen in this game uh, because, as always, everything in here is subject to change. So I would take another pass at this uh, later on. Otherwise, uh, guys, I'm in a bit of a weird spot right now. I'm not super happy with Marvel Strike Force. Um, I'm 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 going to be taking a break for this weekend. I I if if anything comes out, it ha it's not something that I'm that's new. It, there is, I think, one video that I have that are that's pre-recorded. Uh, that I did earlier on in the week. I just didn't get time to push it out. And so that's probably going to come out. Uh, but otherwise, I'm going to be taking a, a wider break this weekend. I'm not going to be around Discord too much. I'm, I'm just going to... I need to, like, you know, take a breather and reevaluate things a little bit. The type of content that I want to put out, you know, there obviously there's been negativity from everyone, really. Like, everyone. Every content creator has made a negative video uh, this week. It's just that it's starting to really get me down. And it's not as simple as me just not doing that either, because I'm really not happy with the direction of the game. I'm, I, I've said that a lot. I'm, not, I'm really not happy with the decisions that they've made around certain things. And that's really gotten me down. So we'll see where that goes from there. Uh, I just need to take a bit of a break this weekend, and I'm going to be playing some Marvel Snap. There may be a Marvel Snap video uh, that comes out this weekend, because I am still playing it, of course, and um, I, you know I'm not frustrated with it. <laughs> so we'll see what kind of content comes out regarding that, because it's a different style of game. Uh, but otherwise, I hope you guys enjoy your weekend. I hope you guys can you know just kind of decompress. There's been a lot of shit that's been going down in Marvel Strike Force, and we all need to take a bit of a step back sometimes. So uh, that's it for this weekend. And until next time, stay safe and healthy. I'll see you all later. Wailon, signing out.